So now let's uh, look into these uh, uh, major components uh, mainly. Let's dig deep into these major components. Uh, so let's understand about the figure well. So we have seen a lot about the figure, but still a few more, most few more important topics I just want to cover before we actually start uh, creating visual wonders. <laughs> just kidding. Just before we create uh, uh, graphs and plots, I just want to like make uh, uh, fundamentals clear. Okay. So figure, what's figure? The whole figure is like the figure keeps track of all the child such as axis and it consists of a group of special artists we call it as artists uh, who, who are all the artists titles figure legends color bars these are all called artists etc and even the nested sub figures so that's what a figure keeps a track of all the child axis and uh, a special artists and uh, a sub nested sub figures. So, and the easiest way, and let's let's look into one uh, figure. Like uh, let's take. So I'll say, let's understand about the figure okay so the easiest way to create a new figure is with the pie plot it's a simple so let's say fig that's what the name we are going to give fig one and plt we have imported it out of that as usual i have told you figure f-i-g-u-r-e and open and close so this is an empty figure with no access at all. So let's execute and see what's going to happen. So a figure size is 640 and 480 because we haven't given this is a default size with zero axis, with zero axis. What is axis? So let me show you that. An axis is a child of a figure. These are the fundamental ones. In addition to the in addition to that you will have a titles and uh, other aspects okay so now so another way of creating we are actually looking into various ways of uh, creating a figure another way fig2 and x this is and then here i'll say subplots will i'll use a subplots p subplots not one we'll use a subplots here we'll get a figure with a single axis when you use a subplot you'll get a figure with a single axis and here is that clear of course there are no values but the default one a figure with a single axis then let's add a values to that uh, into the uh, our uh, subplots and see what's going to happen. So fig 3 and I'll say axs it's equals to plt that's a plot and I'll use subplots and inside that I'm gonna say a 2 comma 2 and here is that you created the two plots oh, sorry 2 by 2 plots 1, 2, 3, 4. Total 4 plots we have created. So that's uh, how the subplots help. So 1 is a figure. It will create only 1 like this. Did We did it here on top. Okay, here also we use a subplot. But uh, 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 yeah, we have created a subplot but without giving anything. So it has created only 1 plot. And inside that we have attached our plots. Similarly, we can add one more plot to here. I'll copy this exactly and sorry and paste it here. I'll say AX only 2 5 5 and you got another line in the same one. That's how 
you can attach a lot of uh, uh, things if you use a subplots in spite of the figure okay that we'll see as we explore more okay but for now one is figure you can directly use or else we can use subplots like this okay subplots with an uh, open and closed empty parenthesis you will have only one plot if you specifically mention the number of plots you will have a uh, that many number of plots if it is two by two uh, then you'll have it's a two by two plots it, you'll have a one canvas and that canvas will be converted into the two by two plots that's uh, uh, like four plots uh, like four figures we call it as a four figures or we can say in a single figure we have four graphs whatever it may be the, however you want okay so we got a figure with a two by two grid of axis next so a figure with uh, one axis on the left and two on the right next we'll do fig 4 comma a x s is equals to i'll say plt dot subplot subplot mosaic you see that mosaic here and then inside that i'll put a sequence of sequences first one uh, one more and comma comma one more so here i'll say left and another one is right top and second sequence would be again left comma right bottom and execute it and here is the magic see you got it so the left one this is the left one left right top and here left right bottom so total the grid has been converted like in using this the grid can be modified however the way you want okay just you can see both you can compare both here it's a two by two the grid is two by two grid here the grid has become because here we use a left left common so it has become one this one the left side one has become a one member of one plot one subplot of the main plot and then whereas c right side you have a right bottom one plot right uh, top you have one a plot clear So here, a, or else let me copy this. Anyway, by default, you will get four. So you don't need to do much modification if you want to do it other way around. So let me copy this here. So left top, go with the left top here. And I'll keep the right here as, as it is. And here I'll put left bottom. And here I'll keep it uh, right. And execute it and here is the magic see that now you got the left top one subplot left bottom one top uh, su subplot whereas the right side you got a single plot so that's why before you creating uh, a number of plots uh, before you creating graphs you should be clear about the subplots and plots and its nomenclature so that you can easily work on and you can do the advanced uh, uh, visual analytics with uh, matplotlib and uh, it's often convenient uh, to create the axis uh, together with the figure so but you can also manually add axis uh, uh, later on also that's all fine okay either you can create with the figure or if you want to modify the axis you can do uh, manually later also clear and the second components that we'll be looking here would be axis 
so an axis uh, is an artist attached axis is an artist attached to a figure that contains a region of for plotting data and usually includes two or three in the case of 3d two in the case of two dimensional three in the case of three dimensional so now in axis you have one object called axis axis so axis objects uh, uh, that provides ticks and tick labels to provide scales for the data in the axis so each axis also has a, a title that's called a axis label x axis label or y axis label or z axis label and we can use set x label method to set the label and the axis class and its members functions are the primary entry are the primary entry point to work working with the object oriented programming interface hoop interface what is hoop interface that will be looking into there are two types of uh, uh, visual analytics there are two types of creating graphs and figures in matplotlib one is explicit second one is implicit what are those we'll be looking into that but not now so i have most of the plotting methods defined on them like if you go to the ax.plot method we can get it.